Welcome to another episode of UCRD Reviews. So today we're going back in time a little bit with the Robot Spirits line, and we're going back to 2017. Now in the version anime line, they started doing the Mobile Suit Variations figures, and this is one of the ones that I've been hunting around for for quite a while. This is the YMS-09 Prototype Dom version anime. Now this one obviously it appeared in MSV, it has since shown up in shows like Gundam Build Fighters, and it's been in a couple mangas, I believe, but it was always a really interesting design to me. And it got its first figure here in the Robot Spirits line. Now it's had a figure before in the Gundam Fix line a long time ago, or in Xeonography, rather. And, uh, but it's been a while, and this one's more faithful to the line art here. But I was really excited to finally be able to pick it up I uh, picked it up for probably a little more than it retailed originally, but I think it's worth it. So let's take a look at it. So the prototype DOM is an interesting design because you can see a lot of DOM elements with it, but you can also see where, you know, things like these exposed cables here are reminiscent of the Zaku and the Goof that preceded it. So this is kind of the stuff that I really like. Um, you can see it didn't have the the skirt armor that the Dom has on the on the legs here necessarily, nor does it have any thrusters up here. Um, but the design is just really really neat. Unfortunately, mine has a uh, paint rub right here, so it's pink probably from this piece. Uh, speaking of which, this whole thing can be removed. You just take these cables out and you can actually move the mono eye around just like the regular DOM release and then this uh, clear visor also can pop out so be mindful of that you don't want to lose that piece so it's very very similar to the DOM and I'll do a comparison with my Char's Rick DOM when I get that out of there you do have the same chest flexing going on there the uh, articulation in the arms is very similar. You know, pretty good articulation there. The shoulders are a little bit loose. You can hear them jiggling around. Um, hand articulation is pretty minimal. So you have some skirt articulation here in the front and side. In fact, you have a hinge and a ball joint here, which is kind of interesting. Um, the leg articulation is pretty good. Uh, you have the those rotating hip joints in there um, that rotate front and back. You don't have much side rotation here. The knee joint goes a decent way, but it's kind of hindered by the uh, thruster back here. You can see the thruster kind of dips in as you move the leg, which is kind of cool. You do have um, hard points for effect parts here as well as these back thrusters here, which are, like I said, they're movable to some degree, and you have four in the backpack here. Now, the coloring is right on this, and the sculpt looks really good. Um, there's a couple pieces in here that you need to make it into a proper prototype DOM. One is these this antenna piece here. You do wanna be careful with it. You do get an extra in case this one breaks. But this goes on this side of the backpack, although it's oddly enough, it's a separate, I don't know if you can tell, it's a different color there. Now it's a little lighter gray. You also want to put one of these pieces on here, which is the bazooka storage piece. Now normally you only put the storage piece if the weapon's, um, you know, if the weapon's in use, or in, in storage rather. But in this case, you're actually going to place the storage piece on the DOM and leave it on there permanently because it's part of the design. So you'll see on the box art here that the storage piece is on there. And this box art is recreating the um, original model kit box art. So that's just part of the design there. And you get, you get two different types, and we'll kind of go over them in a little bit here. But... This is it, this is the prototype DOM. I really like it so far. Um, you know, this piece is supposed to be a different color, so 
don't take my complaining too seriously with that but otherwise you know this is hinged here you got a lot of movement and it's very similar to my dom that i have so let's take a look at the accessories real quick i remember commenting on my shars rick dom review that it had kind of an odd hand assortment and this prototype dom is no different so it comes with the version anime hand holder here and you can see that you get a weird assortment of hands so you do have two gun hands here with the trigger fingers which is normal you have one heat saber hand which is a uh, right hand only you have this posing hand which is left hand only you have another left hand only posing hand here and then you have a zaku 2 hand so just a whole bunch of weirdness and we'll go over the zaku 2 piece here in a bit but you know you don't have a really a complete set of hands which is odd and it's the same problem that I had with the Shars Rickdom so you do have this and you do get this is another accessory this is kind of a tool like a tool you use for a mobile suit like for fixing it and it can be used in conjunction with the little peg right here in place like that and you'll notice uh, that that piece comes off you'll notice that and you'll kind of notice this peg isn't round it's um, almost like a almost like a nut and and then this piece fits right in on it so it's you know kind of like a wrench or something for a mobile suit and if you look at the box line right here the Zaku is actually holding it and making a thumbs up which is where this hand and then this odd wrench piece come into play so that's another reason why this piece is part of the mobile suit design and not just for weapon storage so you do get your replacement antenna right here and speaking of weapons you get a heat saber so this is the heat saber in its uh, turned off configuration the blade is removable and it actually stores straight through this piece here so you'll just put it right through like that and it just comes kind of to a stopping point right about there so that is how the heat saber is stored now the heat saber unlike my Char's Rickdom actually comes with a blade that's turned on so an activated blade in a blue color oddly enough it's um, translucent like a beam saber I don't know why it's supposed to be a heat saber but at least you get something which is kind of nice so I yeah this piece comes off that's for like putting the putting this in the hand and you kind of close it up like that so this is really nice that you get a blade that's deactivated and then an activated blade so I'm glad about that so let's check out the bazooka real quick so the prototype Dom comes with a regular giant bazooka that comes with other Dom figures it's really no different it has the front piece here that swivels around the swiveling handle here and the movable camera so there's not a lot that's changed there I mean everything looks really nice um, I still say that this front handle is a little too long but that's just me you do have this hatch that opens up and you get the uh, little hatch piece that goes right like that to make it look like the bazooka is in the middle of firing it was from a scene in one of the mobile suit Gundam movies so that's pretty cool um, and then the bazooka can be stored so that's kind of the main thing here we've been talking about bazooka storage and haven't really gone over how it's stored so you'll fold up the camera there and I believe this is the piece that just rips the whole backpack off look at that I think this is the piece that goes around like that there we go so it can store like that now I know I talked about a secondary storage I'm going to go ahead and take this thing off of here and grab this piece. So the way this one works is the bazooka is facing the opposite way 
but you move the camera and the handle upward, like straight up, like that. So what this piece does is, let me get it oriented correctly here. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the backpack. And this piece actually stores the bazooka up here, like that. So it's a little further down. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is fold this in a little bit and place the backpack on the mobile suit like so. And so that's what it looks like. And I forgot to mention when you store the heat saver, uh, this piece, if I can move that, there we go. This piece actually pulls down a little bit. Uh, so we can, you know, you place the beams, the heat saver rather through there. But this is how the bazooka stores. So it almost looks like a cannon. It's pretty neat looking. So it's a nice little gimmick. I like that they have two different options for bazooka storage, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna go get my Zaku 2 here in a minute. We'll uh, take a look at what the Zaku 2 accessories look like with it on there. And uh, I'm really happy with the prototype DOM so far. It's really worth the money that I paid for it. So let's check that out real quick. So here's the Zaku 2 with the uh, new hand there as well as the tool that's connected to the prototype DOM. So I'll go ahead and turn it here so you can kind of see. So it all works really well. The hand looks like any other hand that the Zaku 2 comes with. The tool works pretty good. The handle for it's a little on the thin side, so it tends to go through all the Zaku 2's hands aside from the uh, standard hands that are normally on the figure. Um, but the tool connects really, really tightly, so there's no, no risk of it popping off or anything like that. So it's a neat little gimmick to recreate that scene on that box art. So here's the prototype DOM alongside Char's Rick DOM. So you'll see, although the body style is very similar, they are almost completely different figures. So the chest is much more blocky and squared off here, and it's, it goes down into the skirt armor as well. It's not as flared. Uh, moving around the back here, you can see that the skirt armor of the Rick DOM is much larger due to the thrusters that are underneath there. The feet are also larger on the Rick Dom. The Rick Dom has the skirt armor where the prototype Dom really doesn't. And the head's very similar, but without the cables, of course. The shoulders are more squared off. And while the Rick Dom doesn't really have much of a backpack at all, the prototype Dom still utilizes a much more standard backpack so overall they're they're two really neat figures I'm really glad that they made a figure of the prototype Dom so that I could do this comparison because I've always loved the Dom lineage so that's the comparison between the two you know Char's Rick Dom is very similar to the standard Dom and Rick Dom figures so it kind of gives you an idea of what they would look like together so the prototype DOM took me quite a while to find, but I'm glad that I finally tracked it down. It's a really solid figure, it's an interesting design, and it shows what led up to the DOM that we all know from the Black Tri-Stars. The figure does a very good representation of it. There's not really any fault to it. It comes with all the weapons and accessories it needs but it does severely lack effect parts. And this has kind of always been an issue with um, my Shards Rickdom. I had the same remark with it. You know, there's no, there's no effect parts, there's no thruster effects, there's no firing effects, there's nothing. I mean, it's all compatible, but you don't actually get anything with the figure. So it is a neat MSV figure. I hope they continue the MSV line and make absolutely everything. Um, I know the Dom Tropical Test Type is coming out very soon here, so I'm, I'm really excited for that one. But if you find the prototype Dom for a decent amount of money, I would absolutely think about picking it up. Um, it's a pretty solid figure. You know, I, I, I think all the Dom figures that have been released so far are really, really good, so this one's no exception. So thank you for watching my review, and I'll see you next time.